there guys and welcome to another Factoria Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me and today we are covering the multiple train, uh, multiple unit train control. Getting my words mixed up there. And uh, basically what this does is this um, makes things a bit more realistic in terms of how the locomotives work in uh, the game. So uh, in real life, uh, a lot of times you'll see trains that look something like this or something like this with two locomotives facing different directions, either on the front and back or maybe part way through or just at the front or just the back, whatever. Um, and usually um, that means that uh, you would have one actually accelerating forward and then the other reversing, um, you know, for kind of twice the power would be able to go bi-directional. Um, in Factorio, uh, it doesn't really work that way normally without the mod. If you were to have a setup like this or a setup like this, um, the second, the train that's facing the opposite direction of what you're going, so like if this is going to the right, this locomotive here wouldn't actually be doing anything. It's just dead weight, right? It's not actually providing power um, reversing because the game just doesn't do that automatically. This mod makes it so it does. Uh, so I've shown some examples here. We have one set up like this, one set up like this. And basically what this does, um, you'll notice we have a normal locomotive here. Uh, and so if you place one down and then you place one down facing another direction, um, you can see here that MU control is replacing it. And you can now see on these, they are MU locomotive, whatever the name is. Um, and this means that it is working. Um, now you can do these in many different configurations. You can do them like this. You can do them like this. You can even stick uh, like some wagons. And when you pick one up, you can see that it's now changing this to a normal locomotive. Um, you can even do something like this if you want, just as long as they're facing different directions and uh, stuff like this. And, and if you don't get a message where it says replacing, then it didn't really work. Um, and you'll notice in the name. Uh, now, really quick before I actually demonstrate, uh, there are some settings. If we go to settings, mod settings, um, you can do some stuff. You can do MU control mode, um, either disabled, basic, advanced, or tech unlock. Um, Basic is adjacent groups locomotive can be buffed. Advanced locos anywhere in a train can be buffed. And disabled, select this to remove emu locomotives useful for rem uh, before removing the mod. Um, and then tech unlock means that you have to actually unlock the stuff through a tech. Um, and this ticks between fuel balancing. I'll explain in a second. And then emu control debug messages uh, you can just show here. Um, so let's look at the tech here really quick. Uh, if we look at locomotive, uh, here's railway. Uh, see if we can find it. There's actually a uh, research here. Here we go. So uh, multiple tr uh, unit train control, red and green, and then there's uh, wireless train control. And what this does is this allows you to actually have uh, a locomotive at the front and then at the back uh, through the wireless technology. So the way I had the settings set, um, you would need to unlock this to be able to use a setup like this. Um, but basically how this works is it just makes it so uh, one locomotive is uh, twice as powerful. So like the... Um, so when this train goes from left to right, this one here isn't actually working. It's just made this one twice as strong um, when you replace them and get this pair. Um, but with that fuel balancing is it does balance fuel between them. So it should work about the same as if this one was working, uh, but you can tweak those settings. So uh, these are running. I'm just gonna let this go and show you. I mean, when this one gets back here, I'm gonna tell this to run. Um, we may have to wait. Okay, we'll have to wait for it to come back. Um, but this is kind of uh, equivalent-ish of having a, like a vanilla one where you would have a loco, four wagons, and then like a loco on the end. So when it goes, I'm going to do this, and you can see the difference. This one is, well, just about twice as fast as this one. Um, now, the reason I couldn't actually use a locomotive here um, facing the other way is because with the mod, obviously, if I did that, it would have just made this the MU control locomotive pair. Um, but that's just kind of an example. Um, you you know you didn't notice it's a short run, but you definitely notice a difference. You know this is uh, four wagons and two locos to, for a total of six. This is one la wa uh, one loco and five wagons for a total of six. Um, and this one was uh, significantly slower. And there you go, guys. So uh, you know kind of long. Uh, spotlight for what it is, but I wanted to give you a good explanation. And I think it's really cool because actually having trains work like this, how you would intu intuitively think they would, um, I think is really, really neat. I um, mean, there's tons more info on the mod portal page for this, some little details um, that's just like would make this even longer to touch on. Um, but uh, as always, a link in the description to the mod portal page for this. Check it out um, and you should be able to get all the other info you need. But that's pretty much the basics of it uh, to set it up. Anyway, 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found some use out of this. And uh, any thoughts and questions, leave below. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.